Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about relative versus absolute path. So here, we will talk about absolute path and relative path and we'll understand what is the difference between them and in general, how and where we will be using this relative path in absolute path. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code and I'll give you a brief about relative versus absolute path. So let me go here. Let me go with first as absolute path. So absolute is something like you will give entire path of your target. For example, if you have this index.html and what I'll do is I'll just create one thing called as index2.html and hit enter. So now let me use h1 tag and here I'm giving hi this is index2. Now save this. Now what I'll do is I'll try to access this path in two ways. One is absolute and the second one is relative. So let me add relative path and zoom it a bit and here first we'll understand about absolute so absolute is something like you will be giving complete path in a forward direction for example if your folder starts at your computer that is a C and then you will go into the users and you will go into X folder, Y folder, Z folder and a particular file and you will open that file with that particular path. So that is called as absolute path. For example, let me go here. This is considered as an absolute path because we have users, documents, YouTube, mastering of web development. This is my folder structure, how it is defined in this particular system and this is my file name. So if I copy this and put it in my next tab with index2.html, you can access that index2. But for example, let me link up index2 by using absolute path in my system. Let me go into index.html and let me write an anchor tag. So we'll talk about anchor tag in the upcoming videos. For now, just think that you have an anchor tag where it will act like a hyperlink. When you click on that, it will open something in the another tab. For example, I am using a href, I am using an absolute path. So let me go here. My absolute path is this is my whole path. I'm just giving here as a whole path and just I'm changing to index2.html and save this. Now if you see, I am going with absolute path and I want to open this in a target of blank. We'll talk about this blank target and everything in the upcoming video. Just think that when you click this, it will open in the new tab. So now I'm using index2 file. So let me save this and go here. When you reload this, you got a link. When I click this link, it will open a new tab with considering this particular absolute path. So let me click on this. It opened an absolute path. For example, let me consider in this situation. So you have something like I have a folder like YouTube and then mastering of web development and then you have a file of index.html. Now it is working fine in your system. For example, you thought to share this code with your friends. So what you can do is you will share whole this folder and he will be putting that folder in some desktop and he will try to open this index.html and then when he click this, it will search for this absolute path. Actually speaking, you don't have this absolute path in your friend system because he posted all these folders inside desktop not in a particular folder like YouTube mastering of development and the file name so that's where he will be getting a error like this file is not found because you don't have that file let me click on this and if you try to give another name for this for example let me uh, remove this web mastering of web development and hit enter it is giving your file can't be accessed the same error he will be seeing in his system because you gave the absolute path absolute path means wherever you are trying to run you should have the same folder structure and same format otherwise this will not be working out so that's why absolute path is not always recommended to use until unless if you want to use only within your system so now how to replace this with the relative path relative path is something like backward direction that means you will be in the current folder and you will search with the folders by going back and forth so what we will do is for example let me remove all this href which is an absolute path now i can give the same path in a different way by using relative path relative path means you are in the current folder this is my current folder and in the same folder i have index2.html so what 
indicates the relative path dot indicates the current position or a current folder and slash indicates I am in the current folder and selecting this index.html so that means even if you share this particular folder with any of your colleague then this particular functionality will not break why because you are sharing whole folder and your file exists in this folder whether he pastes that particular folder in desktop documents wherever he pastes if he go and open his index.html and once he reload the page and then click on index 2 it will open why because it is checking the current folder not the folder from his system that's where the relative path will be useful for example let's talk about one more folder well I have the same folder and I want to add a folder that is nothing but sample and inside this sample I have index dot index 2 dot HTML now in this case what we are trying to do we are in the same folder but index 2 dot HTML is inside the sample now what I can do is I have to navigate into sample so how can I do that I am in current folder in the current folder I don't have the file so I have to move forward with sample folder and inside that sample folder we have index 2.html you don't worry what to write and how to write visual studio will give us all the details whenever you are typing that relative path so let me go here and just close this and reload let me click on this index 2 file then it opened with our relative path and it is showing that particular index 2 for example I am going into index 2.html I have the same type of anchor tag but this time I want to navigate to index 1 file that means index file so how I can use the relative path now index 2.html is inside sample that means my current folder is sample so I have to come out of that folder whenever you want to come out of the folder you have to use double dot and slash then you will be coming out of the folder and if you want to go one more step back then you can use dot dot slash instead I want to point index.html and save this now you can see this relative path is completely different from this relative path why because here we are pointing by going inside the sample folder and here we are going a backward a step and we are targeting for index.html it is very simple whenever you are going forward you will be selecting the folder and the file whenever you want to come back then you can use dot dot slash so let me go here and now what I'll do is I'll just reload this click on this it opened and you got index file let me zoom it and when you click on this index file again it navigated to our index.html so that is how you can use your relative path and absolute path now there is one more path which is like remote path so what is that remote path is for example you have something like google.com so let me click on this and now let me go into this you have this particular google.com let me copy this this is my remote URL let me paste here and just use this as Google save this and go here just reload your index.html file and where we wrote this in two so let me reload you got the Google once you click on that Google link it opened a new tab called as google.com so that means this path is called as remote path because we are using HTTPS and it is hosted somewhere so we have relative path we have absolute path and then we have remote path which we can use here and when you may be using this absolute path one is for linking the files and second one is for pointing your images which are in other folders if you have images you will be creating another folder separately for images and your file may be at some position and you want to target that images then you can use this relative path and it is always recommended to use relative path in your project creation because that project can be shared with n number of people so that's about your relative path and absolute path hope this will give a brief understanding about relative path and absolute path that's it for this video hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you